what's going on well all right let's work on chord progression so i got a question from somebody saying how do you create a chord progression so i'm gonna just go ahead and cover that and um i did one video where i showed how i could make chord progressions and melodies and things like that off of a midi device we'll now use a piano roll to do the same thing uh but i mean i'm gonna do something different but you get what i'm saying all right here we go so first start a midi clip or whatever in your daw uh import in some kind of a uh piano okay so first thing i do is record um, the actual scale so here we go all right so reason for that is uh just so that i in my piano roll i have all the notes that are available in the scale sorry uh we are working on working in e minor scale okay i'm gonna take this scale shift it back here back so that it just kind of stays out of the way i am then going to copy i'm going to copy it and pitch it up and pitch it down Four, three, two. Okay, it's fine. Uh, good enough. All right. Then, so I've just copied the scale over uh, to a couple of octaves here. I'm going to click the fold button. Now, when I click the fold button, all I can see is uh, what scale were we in again? E minor scale. All right. All I can see is E minor. I cannot make a mistake. See, I. I'm like already sounding so cool. <clears throat> All right, uh, so let's now start working on a chord progression. This is the way Joel Deadmau5 is teaching, where he he's, he says you know he's gonna get on the computer and just start kind of messing around. So let's mess around. You start. Let's start at E, since we're in the E minor scale. Okay, and then. Let's just start here. You skip one and another note, skip one and another note. Gives you the E minor chord. Okay. By the way, uh, yeah, if you don't know where you're starting or what the hell chords are and what the heck notes are or what this thing is that you're looking at, then just, just do this. Put a note down. That's the E minor scale. Somehow figure out what E minor scale is. Uh, Go on Google and do this thing that I just kind of showed you, this thing in the back. Just put some notes down so that you can't make a mistake. And then put a note down on E and skip one, put another note down, skip one and put another note down. All right. You just created a chord one, E minor scale. All right. So now let's just play around with this. I'm literally going to just play around with this here. So let well let's do this. Um, <clears throat> let's copy it four times first. So now we have we copy it four times. We have four bars of this. That's all it is, right? Um, and let's not worry about the middle right now. The end. Um, so there's a concept in uh music theory where um, you create, well, where there's a resolution to the one. So this is one, and we're in E minor, um, and you go up to the four or five. So one, three, four, five. And then that, no, so we start at E, one, two, three, four, five, okay, that fifth chord, 
This is the first chord because it's starting from E. The fifth chord because it's starting at the fifth note, B, in the E minor scale. Uh, wants to come back to 1, E again. 4, four this is the fifth chord. It's the fourth chord. It also wants to come back to this thing here. So let's just see what it sounds like. This is 4. Oh, it's not looping, sorry. Uh, here we go. Right, that was a four. Right, that's a five. So, um, let's play around with that. Let's, we'll just say we're going to use the fifth. And in the middle, let's do something. It's a, it's a chord progression. So what are we playing here? Um, let me bring it all. So I have just you know, instead of like going to second or third octave, I've just kind of brought them back together. So we're playing one, which is E. Okay, so. Six, right? So sixth chord. So that's kind of this is just some progression, right? We can try different ones. Okay, so Okay, so now let's take the top line bottom line down this the ending sounds kind of odd Right, so that's something, and let's just say that's a phrase, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the next portion. I'm just going to copy that, and this is when I copy it over, and then I'm going to try to change it to something else, okay? That's the original.
Okay, so let's just see how that sounds like. It might be stupid, I don't know. sounds a little better to my ears let's just listen to it it's better this chord isn't sitting well with uh, mm. I mean I don't know if it is or is not from music theory perspective, but uh, I just can I don't I don't like it personally, so I just want to try to change it. Okay, so that's how you come up with some type of chord progression. And you can then add more notes, so you don't, you're not restricted to three notes. So let's just try adding more. Although, what might be better is if we tried to add those to a different instrument so I mean instead of the same instrument you can go change the instrument and So let me put some notes. So instead of playing the same notes, um, <clears throat> keep these. Okay, disable those.
okay so and then Try notes outside of the scale, just for a second. Never mind, stay in the scale. Okay, so that's just. So I had a chord progression. Uh, I copied it over to another device, and I'm adding a few notes just to kind of add to the voicing an idea, right?
So that's an idea, uh, and you can work it more and more, and you'll get some type of uh, a thing out of that, right? So that's the idea, just to get in and start building these. Um, and then you'll find that as you build more and more, <coughs> you'll just figure out different ways of doing things. You'll just go in there, for example, and you'll say, okay, well, uh, let me add some things that kind of, instead of starting at one, two, three, four, right? They're very, that's very on the beat, right? All the time. So this is something that Joel does. Um, he says, basically, like, experiment with shit like this. Start it early. Hold on. Well, you get it. I mean, there's things you can play around with. Just keep playing around until you get some some idea, and uh, add other voices in there to make this sound interesting. And so, yeah, and play around with the melody line. So this is kind of the way of creating rhythms and melodies. Um, sorry, not rhythms. Uh, chord progressions and melodies out of those chord progressions. Uh, you could literally say go with this uh, wait let's go to the other one you could just say all right well that is gonna be the basis of melody Let's see if that was the basis of your melody. You could work off that.
so let's say this was something you came up with right and this is you can have a melody Right, so get what I'm saying. So you can kind of experiment and come up with ideas and then create them into songs. Which is the purpose. Right. So all right. Uh hopefully that was somewhat helpful. Um I know that was like just kind of a dull sounding thing, but at least it was a you know, it was a melody, right? I mean it was a chord progression. Um so it should help. Until next time.